It's a pleasure to speak with you both, David and Kathleen. I know that Angela Brown of Hill and Hollow Music invited you to stay on her property in early June when you came to perform the concert. And David, your intention was just to stay a few days. So how did you decide to stay there most of the summer? How that ended up happening was the incredible generosity of Angela Brown. Um, and she said to us, well, nothing's going on. And some people who were going to rent um, her other house canceled. And I think kind of as a, as a silver lining of uh, this whole pandemic, uh, we, were, we were able to stay. I mean, originally we were supposed to go to Morocco and to Europe and do a lot of concerts, just stay a few days. So I think on both sides, um, uh, just circumstances came together and we really are, are enjoying all being together. Yeah, and you mentioned these concerts that you had scheduled in Europe. How was it to see those events get canceled? Well, when the whole pandemic hit and everything closed down, uh, it's of course devastating to see thousands and thousands of dollars of income just uh, evaporate. And then, of course, some people are saying things will be rescheduled, but it's pretty tricky to keep things going. Uh, luckily, we had some money stashed away um, and some other uh, plans and a few kind of online offers that came in. Uh, of course, the Hill and Hollow offer was helpful. So we're, we're robbing Peter to pay Paul and um, managing to get by. And we just hope that things are resolved soon and we can all get back to quote unquote normal. And we actually feel incredibly lucky. Yes, I understand. And while you've been at Hill and Hollow, you've also been able to work on a composition of yours. Yes, that's correct. We're working on a major extended composition, um, a concerto for clarinet and orchestra. Uh, this is a piece that Kathleen and I are co-writing, and um, it's a really fantastic process for us to write music together. And now we'll hear from Kathleen. You're spending a few months in Saranac, New York, playing music. How is this time in Saranac different from your national touring schedules and the way life is going right now in New York City? You know, normally we're on the road. Life is really, really crazy. And um, we're writing in between, you know, in snatched moments here and there. We do carve out time, um, but we never have extended periods of time. And really this, this time that we've had has been quite amazing at Saranac in, in terms of the fact that we've not been going anywhere. We haven't had anywhere else that we've needed to just dash away and, and something else to take care of. And it's really given our days a kind of an open-endedness, um, which we're not used to having. And it's been really quite quite amazing to also, it's, it tends to be very hard um, on you on one physically when one's on the road and even in New York City, just getting around every day. It's, it's, a, it's a hard thing physically to, to just, you know, put yourself through constantly. So it's been really amazing for us to just sit and, uh, and breathe a bit for a change. And while in Saranac, you performed a concert at the historic Saranac Methodist Church. What is your favorite aspect of this concert? My favorite aspect about this concert was the fact that it happened. Um, and that sounds trite, but it really isn't. Uh, I think it's pretty extraordinary um, that anybody is making any programming happen um, at this time. And especially, um, this was at the beginning of, of June that we did it. And... Um, it required an intense amount of thinking outside of the box, collaboration and community, and a kind of a chutzpah and desire to make something happen. And those are things that I've really seen a lot of since, since we arrived in Saranac. 
And um, this partnership between Angela Brown and Hill and Hollow Music and PBS was just something really quite extraordinary. And it, it really took um, a lot of, of thinking and determination to make something happen and a desire to still connect with community. Um, and for me, that was just incredibly special. all so pleased with the results and I'd like to thank you both so much for bringing your music and your talents to the North Country. Thank you. Thank you so much. Spotlight is supported by the Glenn and Carol Pearsall Adirondack Foundation, dedicated to improving the quality of life for year-round residents of the Adirondack Park.